This is my 2002 Audi A6 Estate. This is a car that I saved from being scrapped. And I think it'd be fair to say that the paintwork on this car is tired. And uh, that's, being, <laughs> that's being generous. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna attempt to bring it back to life a little bit. Give it a little bit of a like that, you know, just get it shining a little bit. What I've done is I've put together a little bit of a kit that cost me about 40 pounds, which is about 50 US dollars. And uh, just gonna see how far we get with it. So let's get up close and see what we're dealing with. So, I mean, this car is, it's a, it's a, I don't know if it's coming out on the camera quite right, but it's kind of like a, a deep blue bordering on purple. And it's just tired, you know, this is, this is a 20 year old car. It hasn't particularly been well looked after and it's full of all manner of blemishes. So I suppose if we just start down here on this door, you can see something has nicked it quite nicely along there. And, uh, and you know, and that's just starting to rust. And that goes here onto, the, onto this quarter panel. So we've got a nice bit of rust there. That is only surface rust, because that is that's very, um, you know, what, well, not flaky, I suppose. I don't know what the technical term is. And you can see this, this is a rather large blemish. I've got absolutely zero idea what that is. I'm guessing there's probably some kind of corrosion in there or something. And then as the water's come down there over the years, it's just kind of destroyed the paint there a bit. I've got no idea if that's gonna, if that's gonna come out or not, but we'll give it a go. Coming around here, a little bit more surface rust there. Nothing major, you can push it quite hard and there's nothing very untoward there. We come down the front of the car. Now, I've actually replaced both of the front wings on this car because if you'd have seen any of the previous videos, which you don't need to watch for this to make sense, but these arches had basically just gone. <laughs> there was nothing left of the arches. So these are brand new wings. And so this is actually the color and the kind of shine that that the, uh, the, the whole car should have. And it is actually a bit dirty and there's a massive poo, but there is a massive color difference between this and this. This is the original paintwork and this is the new paintwork. You can see it's darker and it's just shinier and glossier. I just want to bring this paint back. It's never going to match this. I don't think I'm ever going to get it to this, but just get rid of some of that difference. Just give it a little bit of something nice. Coming around the front, it's actually not too bad, you know, the whole front, there's, there's, it's, just, it's just faded. There's not really any like massive, massive gouges or nicks or scratches or anything like that, which is really quite nice. And uh, this is a new wing as well. That's, um, that's just dirt on there, don't worry about that. It's not a scratch or anything. Coming around to this side, again, you know, bodywork on that door, it's fairly okay. It's just faded faded on this door too we've got another of these strange like waterfall blemishes which is what i'm calling them from now on that is not a technical term but i'd very much like it to enter the you know the body shop paintwork valeting detailing parlance um when we get to this this part of the car <laughs> things take a little bit of a turn for the worse that's that's quite a nice little dent that goes in there and we've got a nice little bit of Nice little bit of flaking paint, but again, any of that corrosion there, that's, that's just surface. So I'm hoping just to kind of bring that back a bit and just touch, touch it up a bit. Things get a little bit worse now when you come around the back of the car. I mean, you, you, it's just, it's, it's there, you can see it. It's, uh, it's, you know, substantive. So someone is, uh, someone at work put, a nice little sticker on there for me. But this car, I think in its previous life was used by a builder. And so I think they've had lots of materials in and out of the boot of this car. You know, you've probably had all sorts of wood and I don't know, bricks and whatever else on this rear bumper. And, and that's just gone all the way through. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna repaint <laughs> kind of this little bit here. Now it's very, very, very important that you understand this. I'm not a paintwork expert. I don't work in a body shop. I'm not a valeter, I'm not a detailer. 
I'm kind of just winging this. I've watched, as ever, a couple of YouTube videos on the, the, the topic, and I'm not trying to make this, you know, like new. I'm not trying to make it particularly pretty. This is the effect I'm going for. So you see this area here. The current effect is this. If you were just a random person and you're walking through a car park, da -da 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 -da, and you kind of just happen to glance at this car, you're going to look at it and go, <coughs> that's not what I want and that's the current effect this is the effect that I want notice the lack of that's all I'm actually trying to achieve here it doesn't have to look amazing it just I just don't want it to catch the eye quite like it does because you know it's 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 quite wretched really so this is never going to look brand new no matter what I do to this. I don't have the skills, I'm outdoors and I'm going to use a rattle can. So let's talk about this £40, $50 kit that I've got. It's not really a kit as such, it's just something that I've put together on eBay and Amazon. So I've just got a can, a rattle can of the paint for this car which is Audi Ming Blue. The paint code is LZ5L. It's got paint, got some primer, got some clear lacquer. I've got a box of cutting, foam cutting discs for my machine polisher. And then somewhere in here, I've got some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. And then I've got, you know, just a couple of tack cloths and some, uh, what's it called? What's this stuff called? This is um, sandpaper. And uh, that's all I'm going to be working with. But before I can do any of that, I need to give this car a damn good clean because it's been sitting in a field for about two years. supposed to use two buckets when you wash a car one for the clean water and what yep <laughs> I've just given it a basic wash that a sponge and one bucket is enough for what we're trying to achieve here I'll tell you something let me get you off of there just giving it a clean has made this car so much better to look at but what it has done now though is actually just completely amplified quite how flat the paint is so really flat really flat really flat shiny <laughs> look at the difference you can just see it look the whole car flat this is the same color it's the exact same color shiny 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 flat 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 so this is what we're gonna have to try and solve with a you know a good bit of a polish but you can see what I'm gonna be up against because that is really quite pronounced. Anyway, let's start with the major bits, shall we? I'm gonna to see to this bumper first. This is actually quite flat. I was thinking I was gonna take this paint back and then use a load of body fillers, but just running your finger over it, it's not that bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is if I get a little bit of a uh, little bit of sandpaper, I reckon maybe I don't know 
not 80 grit, that's for sure. I'm thinking maybe a bit of 320, maybe start with 320 and then go down to 180 if that's not doing enough. So I might just 320, just kind of, just, just like this section here. Just take it back nice and gentle. And then all I'm gonna do is give it, give it some primer and then just give it some paint and some lacquer, you know. Just, I mean, look, there's, there's scratches, there's all sorts. I'm not, as I've said before, I'm not, you know, trying to get this back to factory or, you know, even do an amazing job. You know, I want to do a good job, but it's not going to be amazing. So just want to just, you know, just so this isn't so offensive. And so any regular viewers of the channel, you might actually be thinking, where on earth are you? This is not the usual setup. I'm at work. Right, so I did end up coming kind of right over here more than I originally planned because it just made sense because there was just quite a bit of bad paint right there. So I've just sanded that back. I did get on a couple of little bits, I actually didn't have any <laughs> 180 grit, like I said, I must have run out. Um, so I just used 80 grit really gently just to pull some of the really, you know, the bits that you can almost just get your nail into, but very gently and then went over it again with 320. And now, apart from this gouge there that, pff, whatever, that's remarkably flat. You can't feel the difference between where it goes from these bits of uh, primer or whatever that is under there into the actual paint. It's now, that is now dead flat. So, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just get a tack, a tack cloth, get all of this dirt and everything off. Uh, nicely mask up just a little bit in here and then just hit it with some primer okay and it's not exactly the warmest today it's about I don't know six degrees or something so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a heat gun I'm just gonna warm this area up a little bit and uh, I'm also just gonna warm the can up a bit just so everything's a bit better technical term a bit better <laughs> i don't really know what i mean i just saw this on the uh, youtube video get off any last little bits of crud with this tack cloth i've already wiped this down obviously with a a cloth There we go. So you can see straight away that massive great gouge. If you get in there, it's obviously and there, which is going to ruin the effect a little bit, but just help this along a little bit with the heat gun. All right, so I ended up giving it, I think it was three, three coats of primer. And then I just wet sanded it with the video that I was watching said 800 grit, but I don't have any, so I used 1500 grit just to make it nice and smooth all the way along. Have I got some overspray up here and on this rubber? Yes. Am I bothered? Not even slightly. Okay, well, that ended up being three coats of uh, three coats of colour, and I mean that's actually not too shabby, really. If you consider what it was like before, I'm actually quite pleased with that. It's come out all right. Look again, look gouges, gouge, gouge doesn't matter. 
at least it hasn't just got that big sand patch on it. <laughs> Amazing. So all I'm going to do now then is I'm going to let that dry just a little bit longer. I'll hit it again with the heat gun and then it'll be time for just a little bit of lacquer. I'll tell you something right now. Has come out way, way, way nicer than I ever thought it would. Come here, you little. Look at that. Look how nice that's come out. <laughs> I've, I've amazed myself. That is cool. I mean, I'm looking at it now and I'm just thinking. You know what I probably should have done? I probably should have just <laughs> repainted the whole bumper actually because it's not that much more. Oh well, I'm, <laughs> I'm really quite pleased with that. That's come out way nicer than I ever thought it was going to considering it's really quite cold. I'm outside and it's windy <laughs> and I'm just using a rattle can uh, kit that I bought off of eBay and, uh, and Amazon. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to tidy up the bits uh, on the wheel arches that I showed you um, that I showed you earlier at the start. I'm not going to film it because it's just going to be the same, exactly the same as what I've just done on the bumper. And uh, and we'll check back in in a little while. Sick your butt! Yeah. Okay, so slight change of scenery <laughs> so i had to come inside because well it's just started raining um and I'm, i don't know if you can see but i'm pretty much completely lost the light so let me just uh let me show you where i got to so this side this all still very much exists i haven't got a chance to do this now not with uh not with the rain and i sure as hell can't start spraying in here so i will come back another day and do this but i've still got loads of materials left loads of loads of paint and lacquer in that so that's going to complete the job for sure so you saw i did the bumper that's come out really nicely and i also managed to get around here and sort sort this area out somewhat so there's obviously there's no visible signs of rust um, but what I started doing was I started sanding it all, sanding it all back and the rust under there is actually, it is surface rust, but it's quite extensive. It needs a really good kind of like wire wheel on it. And then really it could do with some body filler as well. But as you can see, I didn't bother. And you know, when you step back, <laughs> it's even better when you close your eyes, believe me. But when you step back like this, it's, uh, it's really quite all right. There's no visible rust. And that's kind of the effect I'm going for with this car that costs, you know, that's, that's worth 500 pounds. I've, I've said it a million times at this point. I'm not going for a showroom finish. I'm just going for something that's way less offensive than it was. And I think I've achieved the effect with that, to be honest. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but obviously this is now nice and shiny where I've lacquered it. And then the rest of the panel is nice and dull and flat. Um, so what I'm going to do now, because I'm inside, um, I'm just going to polish it. I'm just going to give it a really good machine polish. Yeah, so I've got some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. It's really not that expensive, this. It was about £10, something like that. So I'm going to do that. And then with the cutting disc wheels that I've got and the machine polish, I'm just going to go over it. I'm just going to go over it, really, and just see what it brings back. I've taped up... The bonnet there and i'll do one of the sides and then you know obviously I'll, I'll peel the tape back and we can have a look to see if it's actually made any difference whatsoever and let's just address the fact that you can see a studebaker <laughs> there and i'm sure some of you are now wondering okay where is it that you work um i wish i could turn the camera around and show you more but I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed because um, I haven't got permission from the customers, but I recently started work at a company called Brightwell Motor Company um, and we restore classic cars. Um, don't worry, I don't work on the tools. <laughs> I'm very much a pen pusher. 
Um, you, I mean, you've, you've seen me work on cars. You wouldn't want me working on some of the cars that we've got in here. Right, well, I just gave that a really quick machine polish, just with the, just with the compound. I used the hardest uh, pad, like the, the toughest, hardest, I think that's what they call it, roughest, whatever pad. And I hope the camera's picking this up, but there is a massive difference already between that side and that side. I suppose if I just pull the tape off. <laughs> Look at that. That is the exact result that I was after. Look how dull that is. And then that's got a really nice shine to it. I mean, there's still lots of swell marks and stuff in it, but I'm okay with that. Look at the difference. That's so good. That's exactly what I was after. So I think now, yeah, look, so if I, if I show you, this is the, obviously the new wing. That just matches way more now with the rest of the car. So that was the old paint and this was brand spanking new paint. That matches way closer. Okay, so that's the whole car done apart from this door uh, and that's because the battery is about to run out on the camera so I just wanted to talk to you before I finish that door but I tell you what actually you, you might be able to see now so the rest of the car is absolutely fantastic it's come out a treat so look you can see shiny 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 on the roof is shiny dull very dull very dull, very dull. Shiny, very shiny. I'm very, very pleased with how this has come out. I even gave the, uh, you know, the roof rails a bit of a buff and they've come out nice. You know, I mean, this is, this is a rough and ready job. You know, I didn't even, I didn't even clay bar um, the car when I washed it, you know, so this is a one sponge wonder, just wash it give it a, a rough buff, <laughs> a rough buff. But um, this is the bit that I'm really pleased about. Remember there was the drips that went all the way down there on both sides, they've gone. That's completely buffed out. And now looking at this car, especially from this side and from the rear, because I've, I've tidied up all that paint, it's actually looking, you know, like a quite a, a respectable car. This is, this is now something that I'm not going to be too embarrassed to drive around in. And, you know, my missus has been driving Claudia and she has been, you know, a touch embarrassed. Oh, I haven't done the mirror. I haven't done the mirrors. Must do that in a sec as well. <laughs> so as you know, this channel is called Not Economically Viable because I put more money into this than it pays me. Believe you me. You might, be no, you might have noticed that I'm, uh, I'm wearing this pretty swanky, not economically viable hoodie. If you would like to show your support uh, and it would really help me out, you, you can buy one of these. They do a diff couple of different colors. Uh, they're right below the video or there'll be a link in the description where you can pick one up. If you've got a project that's not economically viable, do consider uh, buying one and showing your support. 
Uh, thank you to everyone on the last video that hit the little thank you button. There's a thanks button under the video and donated uh, a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars or a couple of euros. Thanks to those people. That really, that's just, a, it's, a, it's mental that people would just send you money on the internet like that for watching a video. I just, I appreciate it so much. And there's also loads of people that use the link in the description to buy me some beers. Uh, again, thank you to all of those people. <laughs> If you found yourself with this video and you, you, you don't really know anything about this car, what you want to do is you want to watch this video right here where you're going to see me bring this car completely back to life and, uh, and, and, and I've got nothing else to say and goodbye.